Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for you today. So we're going to discuss Pinterest earnings report. Obviously, it blew the stock out of the water, at least at the time of making this video. During the day, which was Thursday, the stock was down about 10-11% or so, mainly because of Facebook's earnings report. Facebook was down 24% or so, lost around $200 billion in market value, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. But... Pinterest reported earnings and after hours, maybe even pre-market by the time you're watching this, the stock is actually up 20%, which means the earnings was pretty good. And that's exactly what we're going to have today. We're going to watch what Pinterest has done this quarter, look at guidance, how their various new products are performing, especially the shopping side of the business. Now, after this video, you can expect a Unity one because Unity reports earnings as well. And the stock is up a lot as well. It was down a lot during the day also because of Facebook, but that's for another video. So this video, we'll discuss Pinterest because it's always a bit misunderstood, right? Because Pinterest is this type of social media platform but not really a social media platform because it's also a type of e-commerce platform, but not really an e-commerce platform. So it's a social commerce platform, very, very little, maybe even no toxicity. So that leaves out things like Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc., which is obviously great for the users, great for the creators, and then also incredible, valuable for the advertisers. And this is also why we see such a good increase, especially in that side of the business. Yes, monthly active users have been going down month after month because the pandemic has accelerated that. And the pandemic has also added users that aren't really monetizable for Pinterest or aren't really valuable for Pinterest. We're going to talk about that on Sunday in that PayPal video as well. So... Let's start, but first, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 free stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Now, Stock Advisor has beat the market by more than 4x. So all you have to do is go to fool.com forward slash couch investor to get your free 10 stock picks now. All right. So first up, revenue. By the way, they beat on every metric possible besides the metrics with regards to the monthly active users. But everything besides that, they beat quite nicely. So revenue, revenue change. US revenue change, international, total ARPU, EPS, EBITDA, they beat it all. So revenue grew 20% globally year over year. They expected high teens growth. So that's very, very nice to see. Internationally, that grew 61% and in the US, 11%. As you can see, still internationally, very, very close, but it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. And as for the monthly active users, as you can see, it has been going down for a while, down 6% globally, 4% internationally, and 12% in the United States. Now, I'm going to jump really quick into guidance because they already gave us the number up until the beginning of February. So they say here, and by the way, I think this is a typo because it says here as of February 1st, 2021. Last time I checked, we're in 2022. But they say here that US monthly active users were approximately 86.6 million and global ones were approximately 436.8 million, which is already higher because right now we're sitting at 431. So does that mean that the bleeding has stopped? Maybe, maybe. And now let's talk about ARPU or average revenue per user because this segment to me is very, very important and I explain why. I already explained it a couple of times in past videos. Let's say Pinterest stops growing their monthly active users. They stay flat now at 431 million. That's not a small amount of monthly active users. But what can still grow a lot and what is growing, as we can see right here, is the average revenue per user. They can still monetize those users 
much, much better. And internationally, they can just monetize it. That's it, because in most markets internationally, they're not monetizing at all. So this is why you see a huge, huge difference here. You can see here globally, it grew 23% to $1.93. In the United States, a nice jump here, by the way, quarter over quarter, but that's to be expected with the holiday season, etc. It's up 25% in the United States, and then it's up 62% internationally. Also, nice bump right here. But again, look at the big gap, look at the big difference. This is the opportunity, even if they do not grow their monthly active users anymore. And as for adjusted EBITDA, up 17% year over year to $351 million. I'm very, very pleased to see that. So in my eyes, this was a good quarter. Obviously, there's still a long way to go for Pinterest because one quarter or one and a half quarters, let's say, because the last one wasn't that bad either, but... We need to see this continuing. We need to see this ARPU keep going up. The management has to keep on executing. Now, I want to talk about the shopping side of the business because this is extremely, extremely crucial. We've talked about this native checkout because right now when you go on Pinterest, yes, you go there to explore, you go there to get inspired. But every time you found something useful, for something nice, you clicked on it. Yes, there are some shoppable pins but it redirects you to another website. So it's not as smooth. They have been working on that native checkout where you can just explore, be inspired. You click, you add to your bag, native checkout. That's it, done, easy peasy. So let's look at a couple of remarks. So as for shopping, they say here, we are designing Pinterest as a go-to shopping destination where pinners can not only browse, but also discover and purchase products they are inspired by on Pinterest. That's why I also like their great partnership and relationship with Shopify. Catalog uploads were up over 100% year over year globally in Q4 and in international markets, they were up over 400% year over year, which speaks to the early success we've seen expanding shopping to international markets. Here they talk a bit more about this AR feature they added. We already saw this for makeup. Now it's more for try on for home decor. They did this with Ikea as well. You can see it, it looks something like this. Pretty, pretty cool. Here's a little quote. Pinterest is on the forefront of marketing to consumers in new ways. And since it's the go-to destination for inspiration, it's a neutral environment to play in. So quite nice to see such positive feedback. And last couple of things which we talked about as well, which resembles a bit what TikTok is doing, what Taobao is doing as well. So to enrich our native content ecosystem, we build the infrastructure and tools for creating, publishing and delivering short form video by creators. Some of our more visible product launches included an entirely newer surface for vertical short form video, the watch tab. If you've used it, please do let me know down in the comments below video responses to creators through takes and a new live format. Pinterest TV live format has been huge on other platforms. So it makes sense that Pinterest is trying this out as well. Oh, and of course, guidance, their current expectations for next quarter revenue is to grow in the high teens percentage range year over year. So a bit like this quarter, which is obviously very, very nice to see, especially after we've seen what Facebook has reported, three to 11% growth. But then again, Facebook three to 11% is still much, much bigger than what Pinterest is reporting. So overall, in my eyes, this is a good quarter. Now it's just a matter of execution and continuing the positive momentum. If you're still a Pinterest holder, because I know it's been a rough ride, I've covered Pinterest since I believe May, June of 2020. So I've seen it all the ups and the downs. Do let me know down in the comments below what you think about this earnings report. Have you been buying? Have you been selling? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you're interested, I'm going to cover Unity next. So stay tuned. If you like this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, take care, stay safe and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.